Hi, I'm Roisin working with Korea China and today we're going to show you how to navigate a Chinese supermarket in China with this one in Beijing. So, let's go! Supermarkets in shopping centres or shopping areas are normally found on the basement level. One of the first things you'll see in a supermarket is the fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables are either packaged or you can pick your own. The packaged fruit and vegetables will normally come with a price tag already on them. If you do pick your own fruit and vegetables, you do need to weigh them to put a price on them before taking them to the checkouts. This is easy to do, just find some scales and select fruit or vegetable and find the picture. If you can't find them, don't worry, there will always be someone to help you in the supermarket. They might be located at a different scale, so have a look around and just hand them the bag and they can do it for you. Most supermarkets will have a small area of imported goods, so it will be easy to find small home comforts. Larger supermarkets will normally have a bigger selection. Even if you're not much of a cook, you will be able to find simple, familiar things like pasta, tomato sauce, you can even find spam. <laughs> For a quick carby snack, you will be able to find Chinese breads as well as westernized breads in the bakery section. Something that is common in Chinese supermarkets is you will find the fish and seafood are often alive and you can pick and choose which ones you would want. The meats will often be uncovered. However, you will still be able to find meats that are packaged. One of the perks of being in China is you'll find in supermarkets there is a huge selection of instant noodles. And if you're feeling fancy, you can find wines from across the world. This is normally a small selection and we cannot guarantee the quality. Most supermarkets will carry milk, however if you want fresh milk you should look for these characters. Keep an eye out for these characters for low fat options. Some supermarkets will also stock bedding. This can be a cheaper option than going to places like Ikea or Muji. You will also find a large selection of washing detergent. You'll see familiar brands like Tide and Ariel. These might be at a slightly more expensive price. There's also a big selection of Chinese brands. These are slightly cheaper and they work just as well. All stores will stock men's, women's hair products and personal hygiene products. For women, you might find it difficult to find things like tampons as these are not as commonly used as sanitary towels. All stores will stock sanitary towels and larger stores will have a small selection of tampons. You might find there is limited variety of deodorants in the supermarket. But don't worry, in larger drugstores such as Watson's, you will have more choice for deodorants and personal care. While supermarkets may be limited on things like deodorant, they do stock up on other things. <laughs> when you go to the checkouts, the cashier will often ask if you would like a bag. There's often a small charge for a plastic bag. If you don't know Chinese, don't worry. The price will come up on the screen next to the cashier and you can have a look at this. You can pay either using cash, WeChat, Alipay or card, so it's very simple to pay for your goods. So hopefully that's given you a good idea of what you can expect in the average Chinese supermarket. Now, remember, when you go to a supermarket, be environmentally friendly and remember your bags. <laughs>